welcome to docker tutorials again this is KD and today in this tutorial we're gonna see how to create a docker image that runs Apache 2 inside it so in other words dockerizing Apache 2 web service um, so we're gonna do that using a docker file and uh, I have already created a docker file for that it is similar to the one that we created in our last tutorial for SSH daemon. So let's have a look what's inside that. So this is a Docker file that I have created, just few instructions, very simple and similar to, as I mentioned in our earlier tutorial that we did for SSH daemon, Dockerizing that service. And this simply we are using this Ubuntu 14.04 base image and then installing Apache 2 and then setting up some environment variables and then simply starting that by exposing port 80. We make sure that when this Docker image is created, then um, it's exposing port 80 means using dash capital P or dash small p. Um, port 80 inside Docker container that will be created using this image can be mapped to some port on your Docker host. We'll see that in a minute or so. So let's create, um, let's create or build Docker image using this Docker file. So sudo docker build t and uh, repository name whatever you want and uh, snapshot and it's here let's see how it goes so as you see that it could successfully build that image now see here make sure that um, sudo docker images so here is the one that we have just created using that docker file now let's see how we can create a Docker container using this base image, and then we'll verify that Apache 2 web server is running in that Docker container using our browser. So sudo docker and run as a daemon and map the exposed ports and uh, Let's say name of that is my web, name of the Docker container, and uh, we are using this image that we have just created. All right, make sure that Docker container is running. And this is 49153 is the port number on Docker host that has been mapped to the port 80 inside docker container so let's hit this port and make sure docker tutorials and then this port so as you see that we have we have given the our docker tutorials post colon that port number and uh, web server is running fine inside that so in our next tutorial we're gonna see that how we can mount our docker host directories like that can consist of code or something into the docker container and then how you can make change your code on your machine itself and you can see the changes reflected immediately in docker container so Thank you so much for checking it out and see you soon.